What's happening? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Reppin' Millions. Welcome back to another video. I'm officially on summer break, man. Feeling good, feeling real good. But here we go, man. I want to talk to y'all about. I want to talk to y'all a little bit about <clears throat> E3, man. My predictions about Nintendo. Here we go. Firstly, I feel like they should showcase some free to play games. This has been on my mind for a minute. Uh, I thought they were going to probably have some free to play games showcased at their event when they first showcased the Switch, like possible other games that might come to it. Because, in a way, I feel like the Switch needs free to play games. Now, I'm not talking about like the Black Light Retributions, the DC Universes Online, that type of stuff. Maybe something that Nintendo built up from the ground up. Probably like a Tank Tank 2 or something. Like, I know that game was mostly based around kids, but maybe like a Tank Tank 2. And then we have like PvP and this and that, and just something just to get us going, just to have something, just to be, just to have some form of shape of like an online, you know, fun game just to get into. But I mean, more or less, they should have different varieties of free to play games. Uh, they should at least announce probably like two or three, and then they'll say more coming throughout the year, just to keep uh, more games coming to the Switch, and they could actually drop on Thursday, you know what I mean? Like, or every, every Thursday, every other Tuesday, maybe even a Friday, something like that. Maybe we could even get Lost Reavers. I want Lost Reavers to happen for the Switch because I actually enjoyed it on the Wii U. A lot of people actually played it, believe it or not. Um, it was kind of under the radar and some of the controls were a little janky. But more or less, the game itself was actually fun. So hopefully, they will be able to showcase to us some more um, more free-to-play games. Maybe even other st sub dr uh, still drivers. Part 2 or something, you know. Maybe they're going to or maybe a deluxe edition of that and they're going to add more submarines and stuff and it's gonna the switch edition is gonna have a lot more to offer so uh just saying man that would be a great addition to the switch secondly they're gonna probably showcase more accessories for the switch maybe uh that's just something i feel like that's gonna happen uh they're probably gonna showcase some some new stuff that they're gonna feel like they're gonna bring maybe some new joy cons maybe some like new other like headphones or something you know i feel like they're gonna do something like that but if they don't my bad if they don't show it then they might show it like in a nintendo direct or something because you already see how they they're you know spitting out the other joy cons for arms so they might have some other new joy cons in the works that they really they're going to unveil as well thirdly um they're going to probably even have some more things where they're going to showcase to us about their gaming pictures and stuff for the eShop and the themes and all that if they don't do it in a direct um which i you know i plan on it maybe they'll have some sort of special where they'll be like this is e3 and this is what we want to do we want to give you this and that blah 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 and yada 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 right fourthly i've been hearing rumors about a new metroid me personally i know they said it was gonna be a 2d or 3d i feel like it'd be a 3d um if they did go back to 2d i could see that being a big thing too but um even if they released that alongside with the 3d one or released it maybe after or before if they make the three I, I don't really it's not that i don't care too much about the 2d one but if they were to make the 3d one i'm hoping that maybe it'll be something similar to like the past like from metroid it'll be like a fusion of like metroid and i didn't mean to say fusion because metroid fusion maybe it'll be something like between metroid one through three and metroid prime hunters because those are my favorite metroids of all time uh, especially prime hunters because you could play that one online it went up to about i think it was about four yeah, it was about like like four players. And the game itself was actually fun, and I actually liked the ranking system online. And it was built around being competitive. So hopefully, if they have something like that, that could be another title they could have. They could be used for like esports and stuff. So hopefully, they'll be able to do that. And fifth, we need. Hopefully, hopefully they will unveil Smash. I know a lot of people have been talking about that. I'm, I, I, you know, wouldn't put it past them because they know a lot of people want a Smash for the Switch. They want a deluxe, delish, uh, uh, delicious, a uh, deluxe edition. So I'm kind of hoping that they do show a new Smash, and then hopefully they'll showcase. Okay, you're gonna get a, you're gonna have a way to use your, your, your GameCube adapter, or they're gonna have some form of shape of another adapter so you can use for it. For the switch to be able to use your gamecube controllers so you can still be able to play with your smash because in love you know damn well a lot of people want smash nintendo knows people want smash it sold bundles son bundles on the wii u so and the 3ds so what makes you think it wouldn't sell even more on the switch mario kart 8 delivered 
And that showcases that if they actually did that for Super Smash Brothers, huh, you best believe more Switches will be sold. But and but I mean, there's no telling what Nintendo else is gonna have to be shown because I've been hearing rumors and speculations that they're gonna have a Call of Duty World War II being announced on there, but they're not gonna have any video footage, and that there's gonna possibly be Pokemon Stars, you know, that type of stuff. Me personally, I, I couldn't put it past them because Game Freak did say they are they already have a working title in works for Pokemon, so there's no telling they might show that. They're probably going to show some more information about other details about other games they might be having coming out next year, as well as 3DS titles, because people are like, 3DS is dead. No, no, no. 3DS is still bumping. They kind of showcased that with the 2DS XL. But, I mean, more or less, there's no telling what else they're going to showcase. And I didn't know this wasn't probably my strongest E3 predictions, but uh, I am kind of rushing this video. But, more or less, man, I'm excited to see what they have to hold at E3. Um, so just let me know your thoughts and opinions about what you think they might be showcasing the D3 in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys later. It's your boy Rip the Means. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one and happy Mother's Day once again.